Hello guys and welcome back to Viking Conquest. I'm Daily Fix. Now, last episode, we had a bit of a run-in with Jarl, or uh, of that was supporting us, and uh, he accused us of ruining his plan for the throne. We did do the quest of collecting tax over there, and I bought the set. I wasn't going to give him the money, but I might. Wanted, I just wanted to give that try to see if he would really attack me. Uh, if he is, then uh, we are going to re-roll, of course. Because we don't have the uh, support that uh, we needed to do this. So, let's just see what will happen. Uh, I'm really curious about that. I'm really curious about that. Let's see if he'll kill me. We meet again. What is it? Uh, okay, so about the task Here is the money As a relationship has increased with 10. Maybe th this is just for the best now. He didn't kill me uh, You need to earn my trust. Do you have any tasks for me? No, I don't need your help. No, I bet you won't But he isn't uh, angry with us at all Let's uh, go to the um, To the ferry and um, there is a prisoner here in, in, in this town that we can interrogate. Uh, let's start by recruiting... Oh, hello. We got some riders in here. Yeah, recruit them. Hell yeah. I don't mind getting some riders in here. Uh, take an action. Uh, I, no, no, no. Forget it. I don't want to do that. Let's go to the village center. Uh, where is that? Okay, cool. Where is that guy that's running the show? The show over here. He should be around here somewhere, right? Oh, he's probably over there. But it could also be trainers. Veteran warrior, Yonrik. Olaf, the prisoner is waiting to be interrogated. He may have some information. Sure, Tonrik. Take me to him. It's time for some words. Follow me. Yeah, gladly. Uh, ship captain, torturer, Tornik. I got some companions in here. And there is a trap, it seems. What is this? I don't want to fall in there. Oh, look at them. The ship captain, the torturer. He's all yours. I already hit him pretty hard. Um, yeah, okay. I'm already here, though. Okay, ship captain. Tor, we have a new visitor. Our, f your f uh, our friend hit me hard. Come and see if you can hit him better. Uh, so we can ask him some questions. If you answer right, you won't have to be suffered. Give him some water. Hit him in the face. Torture the prisoner wants to be hit. Please ac accommodate him. I don't have any questions. Let, let's start out by some water. Because yeah, he, he looks really thirsty. Uh, let's uh, let's clean up the wounds. You weakling. <laughs> okay, let's do some. Um, why did you attack this town? He looks with tired eyes through his sack. Sven Bulnak ordered me to disembark in, in Dokinga. Dokinga. This is such a terrible, terrible pronouncing town. Uh, with several men to secure the site with a, a long port. If all had gone well, our lord Sigmund Snake in the Eyes would be sending another hundred men from Denmark to help the Jarl. He crown, uh, to help the Jarl be crowned king. I know only a bit, but I think the Jarl of Kenningmer promised to send five hundred men on this summoner's expedition to England. 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 Okay. Uh, if he becomes king, however, this is no longer relevant. We failed, and Sigmund 
snake in the eye will not sacrifice more men. He will need to help his brothers in England. You can rest easy. Okay, so he's not going to be... Uh, but why wasn't he there? Um, he forced a smile. Sven Bullneck has things more important to do. A segment called on him a few days ago from Denmark. If you want to know where he is, go and ask Sigmund yourself. But I, sh but I suggest you ask him more nicely than you ask me. I, I've cleaned up your wounds. I give you some water if you want to be smacked and keep this up. Um, Ragnar is a name I've heard recently. Is he your lord? Scum? Scum. Okay. That's um... Tell me about Ragnar and his sons. I know nothing! Um, did you attack the ship I was in? I say nothing! Okay, no more questions. Uh, maybe this will motivate you. Grab him by the crotch and squeeze hard. Uh, we can do it like this. The prisoner looks at you confused, but he seems to be more relaxed. You give me grief? Let's see, I know nothing, scum, and I say nothing. Now let's talk. You hit the side of the prisoner again, and then his face. You prefer pain. Oh wow, you grab his fingers and break him one by one. Now... And I'll help you get home. I don't have any persuasion, so I don't really see this working. Let's hit him. Now we we lose reputation, and um, reputation is now five. He does not answer, but you sure will be more cooperative now. Ah, okay, there he goes. He twists his mouth and looks at you with contempt. Sigmund is Sven Bullneck's Jarl, and Sven is my Herser. Both of them are powerful men, great warriors, so stay away from them or you will or I he will send you straight to hell. And about this, I know nothing, did you attack this? Do I really have to help you? Oh, hello. Oh, wow. That's, um, <laughs> oh. Let's break his fingers. Tell me about his son. You wish to know about great Ragnar Lonbrock from the whole young Lynyrlla clan, descendant of Odin. Ha! Well, he was he was a jarl filled by all Christians. He attacked England and Franca, Frankia. Uh, many times, and he is famous for his huge ex expedition. Uh, he's now known to unify and lead the men. Ragnar was more than a man, and his sons too. He had many sons with his many wives, especially um, Ladgerta and Aslum. Invar the Boneless, Bjorn Ironside, and Half Den, Sigmund, Unbu, and others. He had more than 10 sons and many daughters. If you are so clever, you will avoid confronting them. You should even ask Sigmund's forgiveness for killing his men in Dokna. Um, he spits to the side before continuing. Unfortunately, King Adel of the North Himbra in England took Ragnar prisoner and threw him into a pit of poisonous snakes. Now. Ragnar's sons have gone to North Wimber and killed its king. Now, um, the North is a Danish land now, and soon the rest of England will follow. Sigmund and Ragnar's other son, sons are called to arms many men in Denmark. They will join Ivar and Half Den, Ragnarsson, and will advance over the rest of England. Every, everyone knows. Yes, we attacked some ships recently before Sven Bulnix went away. 
from us to the north. I remember the wooden rig because I liked its name. Woden, it's Woden, right? Woden was an important god in England before England before all became Christians. I remember once meeting a family that still worship Woden in a village we looted. They were the only ones who whose lives were spared. Woden we call Odin. Why did you attack the ship? We were idiots. Damn, if they were idiots. They stopped uh, in a, wreck a wreckage of other ships we had attacked and it took us just a few hours to catch them. The wind was favorable and we boarded them. They were only a few war there were only a few warriors aboard, so it was easy. Uh, did anyone survive the attack? Very few, unfortunately. Usually we try to catch them and sell them as slaves. Now my mother was on the ship. Well, we spared some men, even a mad woman who talked nonsense. Maybe your mother was among them. Where did the prisoners go? Sven Bullneck took them with him. Uh, with, uh, with, yeah, with him. He was going to leave them in his outpost, uh, in his hideout, before continuing his journey north. The hideout is in Denmark, and it's a good place and well defended. But I will not tell you where it is. I will not betray my master just so you can kill me. He raises his hands before you can answer. There is no need to torture him for that information. There is a man in the port of Ripe who deals with Vikings for their slaves. He is a Frisian from um, Dokinga who has thrived in Ripe as port master. One often find him outside by the docks. He is not a good person, but he will sell whatever information you may require. When you talk to him, please do not mention my name because it was I who forced him to leave um, some years ago. I have nothing to add, no more questions. I do not have any more questions, so torturer. Anything I can do for him? Let's free him. We'll at least gain some reputation and some money. I'm in freeze. I am not wanted. I've learned I've earned powerful enemies against whom I cannot fight now. Tornik, my priority is my mother. I must save her. I will find passage to Denmark on some ship and look for Sven Bullnet. Maybe we will never meet again. I know you'll be back someday. Yeah, if I die, I have to resave and you'll meet me again. Um, yes, with an army. The Jarls and Kings of Frieza will pay for what they've done to me. No, I hate this land. And I will come back and I will say hello to my friend. I hope so. The people of, Dun of, of, of this town love and admire you. Um, here will always be a bed to sleep and a fire to warm up. Now I need to find a boat that's traveling to Ripe. I can help you with that. One of, Sv of Sven's boats was left behind, relatively undamaged and has been repaired in secret. It is our gift to you for saving us. The ship awaits you at the beach or uh, near this town and also someone else is, wa is waiting for you there. I have a favor to ask, Olaf. You remember I told you that someone was in the house of the Jarl. Someone passing, uh, someone passing me information. Well, that person is my daughter. The Jarl snatched her to her uh, serve in his house as a maid for his wife. She managed to escape from Ken Kenemer, and now I want you to take her along. If the Jarl finds her, he'll take her back to his house or maybe he would kill her. I need you to do this uh, to, the, to do this for me, Olaf. And the boat is yours. Yes, uh, I will do my best. Okay, cool. So, uh, recruit some more men. Uh, wow, it's actually quite fun that there's actually a few that, um, that cycle through. So let's leave for now. 
there is the beach. Uh, is there anything that we should do over here? We got some notes on Denmark. We got some other notes. Um, famous warrior. Have to be careful if you have intentions to fight them. His daughter is on boat. Uh, the port master in ripe will have to attack. This is probably not going to happen. Uh, all plans of the king has been ruined to your intervention. His ally Danish Lord uh, will not send more troops because he recruiting reinforcements to England. It seems Freeze will be free from the Viking attacks for some time, thanks to your efforts. The paradox is that you now have to run away from the land that you just have helped saved. Okay, so there's absolutely nothing here to do for me right now. So ripe onward to Denmark it seems. Let's go to the boat. Finally, we leave uh, my own town, my own country. So the sea breeze, ca um, careless. Wow, the sea breeze, careless. Whatever. Um, you hear these sea gulls over your head, and the smell of salt is getting stronger. In the distance, you dis distinguish the silhouette of a boat on a hidden beach. It is a ship that Tornik taught you about. Your ship. Okay, let's walk down to the beach. Apparently, I need my blade, huh? Now, the boat should be over there by the look of the mast. I don't expect enemies, actually. That's first. There are some men waiting there. Now, I do need a few. They are also having blades in their hands now you must be his um, his daughter do not come close to me I'm tired of being abused by every person that crosses my path calm down your father Tornik has sent me to find you I'm sorry but please understand my life has been a living hell since I became the maiden in the house of the Jarl I used to live in a small village I know I was there hun. Uh, I was happy my father Tornik cared a lot of me since my mother died but one day, the Jarl stopped in our village, and he saw me. He, damn him, forced my father to send me to his house as a maid for his wife. He promised that he would respect me, but he lied. I don't like to speak of this. Well, since then, I've had... I really become a slave. I had to give myself to him and to his men. Holy crap, you've been busy. I so desperately wanted to escape. If only I could start a new free life. I know. You could take me with you. I could help mend the wounds of your warriors. I could even learn to be a warrior myself if that is what it takes to be free again. Will you take me with you, sir? Freeze has no threats, uh, has not treated me well either. Especially the Jarl. I'm leaving this land and you're coming with me. Oh, eh? Uh, what if I don't want to? Well... You really helped me escape and protect me. Well, I'm in no position to be picky. I would be pleased to join you in exchange for my freedom. Oh, you'll get some freedom. I think you would find that I would be most valuable addition to your ranks. I am well versed in the old traditions of the land and I can declaim several of the epic poems from my people. I will also use everything my grandmother taught me to keep my new companions healthy. Your father wants you as far away as possible from the Jarl and I understand why. You are welcome. Uh, give me a few moments to prepare. Okay, so she joins our ranks. Can we do... No, we can't. I can't look her up. Oh, they are not... Okay, so these are the shipwright, some sailors. Shipwright. Oh, you are Olaf. Tornik told me that you would come here. Get on the ship, my men and I will show you how easy she sails. Okay, cool. Let's, uh, let's do that then. She better sail easy, buddy, or I'll throw you overboard. There's nothing else I could find here, perhaps. Oh, great. Someone already fell on conscience. Ain't that lovely? Maybe she collapsed from being uh, so far away. So, click K to continue. 
Um, click backspace to get an overview. Oh, that's that's quite easy. That, that this is what I need in Nova Atheus. You can look around. Uh, click backspace again to go back. Press K. Um, you can give the command to row forward with clicking the up or the down arrow key. Start rolling forward then. And, and, and do it so that it's fast. Uh, by clicking left or right arrow. Okay, so. This will go to the left. And the other one go to the right. Um, stop please. Come on guys, steer to the left. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be liking the sea combat at all. Uh, click enter. And uh, the wind blue flag trying to give the command to set to the reef and sail. So, up, down, backspace for an overview. And pressing the arrow keys will automatically remove the sails it seems uh, apparently we are at the end <laughs> land your ship uh, is landing the same thing as uh, smashing into the sea I can do that come on come on Go guys. I wish I wasn't this far out. Stop. Stop. Do the do the sails. Okay, it's it's not speeding us up, it's actually slowing us down. Um on the top right there. It's probably the knots that we are firing. Um yes, they have different speeds. That's quite nice. Poor guys. Some of the seats are empty, but still. I think we're just going to be smashing. Thank you for turning, my friend. Let's make sure that they don't get angry at us. That would be painful. Yeah, I I'm not sure about the ship tutorial, to be honest. Uh, it, it doesn't, of course, steer right away. It, it has some delays. And you can see there, right, there's an arrow... On which way they will are, are going to be rowing. And we're just going to be smashing up the beach. Okay, maybe not smashing, but... Um, it does appear they are there now. Uh, you've obtained your first ship. A ship doesn't simply make it... Uh, feedable if you cross the sea it makes you rich if you engage in trade across the sea it makes you a feared man if you make quick raids on settlements on the coast it will make you a ruler if you conquer foreign lands the Norman say it will even bring you to the afterlife uh, let's hope that's not going to be very soon however Traveling on a ship is also dangerous. The sea is like an open grave behind the hull. Awaiting you and your men. Okay, that's uh, not too pleasant. Uh, the storm of winter will harm your ship. But calm weather isn't much better. Because it forces your men to row. To, avi to avoid overtaxing the crew, it is customary to stop traveling at night and to rest on land. A ship is also a valuable possession. The owner should always keep an eye on it. Come back to the place as soon as you want to sail. So this is really now our very very first ship. And I think that we are ending the episode up here. And next episode we are going to ripe. See what we can do over here. Um... And hopefully we'll uh, get some more money, hope hopefully, and um, some more men, because um, that is what we need, we don't have that money. Oh, by the looks of it, yes, we did level up, so 
we don't get any of these points again, huh? Okay, that's good to know. Uh, we cannot do any more weapon mastery. Um, athletics is on four. Navigation, seeking, throwing, power draw. Well, we do get a healer right now, so I don't want to spend any of the points in there. Uh, we haven't run out of inventory space just yet. Trainer, we can't do anything. Looting could be nice if we are fighting, so it would be some more, um, some more money coming in. Um, reduces the probability of breaking by 7%. I think it's going to be very important later on. Maximum number of ships you can command. And we have it on one, so I think one would be one ship. And navigation will be increasing the speed. So this I want to have up a tiny bit, so we might be able to outrun some of the guys. So, do it like this. Anyways, that's it for now. Um, if you have information on this DLC, do let me know. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.